Well, so the, the best way to explain this would be, uh, imagine you have two reserves, right? A and B, and you have a connecting tube between the two. Let's call reserve A your pancreas and reserve B your cells. And on top, somewhere else, could be anywhere else, of the tube is like an inlet, like a valve. So um, the tube, has glucose coming in into it from the valve right now when that happens your pancreas is now stimulated because of the glucose in the tube it's an example to release insulin the insulin is supposed to push the glucose to your cells right um so what happens with type 1 type 2 diabetes which is also known as insulin resistance is your cells are not opening up to take in the glucose so then what you have happening you have the influx of glucose and uh, insulin in the tube, right? And um, I've always said you cannot cheat the human body. You can hug the human body, but you cannot cheat the human body because if you do, it's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. Now, the idea of adding insulin into the tube along with glucose, what would that do? Well, if your cells are still not opening up, what would happen is eventually your pancreas starts to reduce in its production of insulin and if it's overloaded, then it shuts down completely. Then it crashes the whole system. But then what eventually happens also is you now have other outlets, right? In the tube, way to the brain, which you can cause um, the diabetes of the brain, which is Alzheimer's, or to the joints. Too much of glucose in all these areas is actually not productive. Your cells, which is supposed to go to your muscles, should be where the glucose goes. This is why lifting weight and strengthening becomes very crucial. So yes, you can use uh, exercise, but specifically it has to be lifting. So if you want to target this, I would say increase your lifting, increase your strength training to about 80%. Every other thing else like um, uh, stretching and Pilates and yoga and cardio should be about 20%, right? Diet is important, but specifically micronutrients, so your electrolytes, to allow the cells to open up to take in the glucose. Also, intermittent fasting. This is crucial. So remember that, that you cannot cheat the human body. You cannot just pump in insulin into your system because what that happens overall, it tends to, then that will lead to type, type 1 diabetes and then your pancreas shuts completely. Open up yourselves. Let yourselves take the glucose. I hope this helps. Good luck.